Good morning, this is Deborah Matthews, Vicar of Verwood. Welcome to my thought for the day. This fourth Sunday of Easter is known as Good Shepherd Sunday. The idea of God acting as the shepherd of his people is found in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, from the beginning to the end. Therefore, thinking of Jesus as the Good Shepherd who knows us and never leaves us to walk alone from the beginning to the end of our lives can be a great comfort to us. Many of us know the 23rd Psalm, and even if we haven't read it in the Bible, the words will be familiar to us through the well-known hymn. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. This is chosen to be sung at many of our life events. Some of these mark joyful occasions, such as weddings and christenings. The verses remind us that the Lord will lead us through all of life's ups and downs, and that he will walk beside us and keep us on the path of righteousness in his name. On other, more solemn occasions, we find this hymn a comfort, perhaps at a memorial service or funeral, when we are reminded that though we walk in death's dark veil, we do not need to be afraid, because we will be comforted by our shepherd, who will keep us safe. And when we have lived our lives following him in goodness and receiving his mercy, he will lead us home to dwell forever with God. This image of Jesus as the Good Shepherd, who knows his sheep, is a relationship that we can appreciate, even though shepherds and sheep are not so visible as once they were. Knowing that we belong to his fold can help to support us, particularly when we feel separated from people and from our social and workplace communities. We hear that belonging and being known is an important factor in our well-being, and so we must be careful that the positives of home working, which have become so necessary and perhaps popular going forward, don't mean that we become an anonymous part of a product rather than a person contributing to the business. We know the perils of outsourcing when a contractor doesn't meet their employer and the employer doesn't even know their name, seeing them just as part of the business costs. Then loyalty on both sides is fractured. We need to belong and to feel that our contributions are valued. The Good Shepherd not only knows his sheep by name, but he is fiercely loyal to them. He is not just a hired hand looking after someone else's sheep. This shepherd would lay down his life for his flock. When danger and difficulties arise, the hired hand is off. It's not worth the hassle or the personal safety issues to save the sheep, but Jesus gives himself up for them. This doesn't mean that he is not tough on them. They need guidance and direction, and they need to listen to his voice. But he knows them, and he will be there for them. For us today, listening to his voice in the midst of so many conflicting voices is not something we can do without making a positive effort. In today's world of multimedia and multi-choices, we need to make time and space to listen and to be willing to be led and nurtured by him. Whatever that means for us today, and however much we are willing to accept Jesus' relationship with us, we should guard against the many wolves out there, ready to swallow up all of our good intentions. And they are not as easy to spot as the one in Red Riding Hood. They come in the guise of the things which tempt us away from our faith. The biggest, hungriest wolf of them all is our own desire to pick and choose what we want, what feels better for us on our quest for individuality. 
This puts us at the centre of our life, rather than seeing ourselves as a part of the human race. When we are lacking in care and commitment for the rest of the world, we can become disconnected and isolate ourselves. The Good Shepherd lays his life down for the flock to bring them together and to keep them safe. This is powerful love which teaches us to speak the truth and to follow him as we both listen for his voice and care for all of his sheep. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. I will trust in him alone. His endless mercy will follow me and his goodness will lead me home. Amen. God bless you.